Hey guys, Lonely Family Boy here, and sorry I haven't been doing any iCarly reviews whatsoever. In fact, I haven't done any of that other than the I Can't Take It episode. What are those reasons for that? For one, after the Dragon Josh marathon, I didn't feel like I wanted to do another marathon. I mean, it was a very stressed marathon, and I only wanted to do marathons in order to get some videos out as quickly as possible. So I can only do like a marathon once in a while. And secondly, I'm working on two fanfics, one that needs to be finished by the end before Christmas arrives. I'm working on a Christmas fanfic. And the fact is and the fact is is that I always put my focus on it. I mean earlier this year I did put my focus on the fanfics a lot, but at the same time I really made a lot of mistakes back then. But I'm only putting my focus on one fanfic in the other fanfic because I really don't have a lot of time to do that anymore since I would turn my laptop to school. And as for, I know I didn't mention that I'm not going to do a lot of Crusty Girls reviews or videos or any of that kind of stuff, but at the same time, those videos gave me a lot of views and I was actually kind of surprised. Maybe it's because I did the latest, review, latest news, like the the 2019 special that I uploaded in July, it gave me 6,000 views and I want to do more Crusty Girls review videos because I know I have several ideas of what could happen in the crew special and I decided to revisit World Course of Friendship but I'm going to have the title card Why World Course of Friendship is a Bad Idea not that it's a terrible special in general, but for its existence. Believe me, even after watching that special, I didn't waste my time to watch that special again because of how cliche it was. I can remember everything of what happened during that special, even with my one viewing of the entire special. And besides, I know we still didn't get any more information yet, and season one is over for real this time since we got no request to go short last Friday. I wanted to put my focus on while World Coast of Friendship doesn't work as a 44 minute special and the only reason why it exists is because it's nothing for shipping moments, which I do not accept whatsoever. And I'm probably going to have this shipping detail conversation into the next special because since that Rainbow Dash and Twilight could have a focus in that special, which I think that Twilight Sparkle could have a focus since those Kalatos actually went to Acrestia, then maybe I might have the shipping moments here because people might think that it's going to be Rainbow Dash and Twilight having a special of their own because, well, there's some moments that they have been together in the shorts, but at the same time, I highly doubt that. I really think that that the crew special will probably take itself seriously and put more details on like World Coast of Friendship. So, in my multiple parts about World Coast of Friendship, I'm going to talk about on what's one and how the pacing is really poor. Believe me, I really need to address this a lot since that this special hasn't been advertised or even got any information except the release date and that's it. Believe me, this special is still depressing even to this day after watching it after three months since its premiere. I still can't get over it. Well, almost halfway to the crew special release date, but at the same time, I'm still depressed. Especially that Crusty Girls for this year were had a poor ending with the the World Coast the World Coast of Friendship special. As for the other side, it was a good music video, but at the same time, it was a weird way to end off season one. Anyway, I'm Lonely Fanboy for a heel, and the schedules of November and December haven't changed. I'm still gonna do those, so. Don't be concerned. I'll see you next time.